Welcome to another short video with the hag I'm going and to the roses and the old guy. What are you going to do, old guy? I got to run in. Yeah? Drop this off. I'll be right back out. Okay. So in the meantime, we'll be looking at flowers. And they're just everywhere here. Look at this. They're just everywhere. Looks like the light pink one back there is almost done, as you can see. Way under there, yep, almost done. And these are just coming out everywhere. Look at this. They are just so beautiful. And there are tons and tons of buds. And we go up and up and up. And they're up in the tree. And they are further up in the tree. And there are some red ones way up there. So, very prolific. I believe these used to be Canadian up here. These are all Canadians. Canadian roses. They're all own root, of course. As I never like to have anything I have to baby. And they smell heavenly. There's some red ones hiding over there. And of course we have the yellow irises that are still going and not only do we have them on this side they're on the other side over there too and those will come in and bloom very shortly and here is the oh here we go look at this i might be able to might actually be able to get you some color here Let's see if we can do this i don't really know if the color is showing very well but these are going to be peach Griffith Buck Rose, I believe. Don't know the variety name. Way up there. Some way up there. Right, it's kind of scraggly once you get toward the bottom here, but I do have to trim off some of those canes. And uh, what else? Oh. Well, let's see what else do we do. We, uh... Ah. Ah, yes. These are the buds from Quadra. I don't know what they're doing down here in the shade, but apparently they're not too terribly uh, upset to be in the shade. Here's what these look like when they open. Look at those. Now this is not a rose. This is a budley, I believe it is. I'm not really sure what kind of a shrub this is, but it's very beautiful. That one's in the shade. We have the pink one over here. There's my little toad house. I don't know if anyone's hiding in it. I don't want to disturb them. They are. There's the pink one right there in front. <coughs> Excuse me. And I potted up a couple things. Nothing major. Put some bat guano in it, you know. Just to uh, give it a push. See what happens. And, oh, look at this. We have pawpaw trees growing in our little area here. That's a pawpaw right there. As are those. It's mostly the roses I wanted to I wanted to get to because they're here for such a short time that, you know, it really <laughs> I mean I really wish you could get the effect of them all up in the tree here and just cascading down. Because they are so pretty. Okay, so on that note, I'm going to close up shop here. It's, we're getting a little rain every now and then. So thanks for joining me, and we will see you later. Peace, share it, world needs more. Bye, everybody. Until next time.